We are in Wells Hall. We are in the A Wing of Wells Hall. We have all three floors booked for an entire weekend for an event called Sparta Hack. So Sparta Hack is a major league hackathon, and a hackathon is sort of like a, a hacking marathon, and hack in the sense of like exploratory building or hacking something together. We have a little over 16 sponsors, and almost all of those have prices. So things like uh, Venmo and Brinchy and Slash PayPal, all really the same conglomerate, um, are here today and they have a prize for the best use of one of their APIs. And then we, as a team, we host a bunch of prizes like best Android app or like best iOS app. And then of course there's the grand prize winner and like top 10. People who either study computer science or are interested in it or what have you, uh, come to basically just nerd out. It's really nice to be able to like set aside an entire weekend, clear out your work ahead of time, clear out your work afterwards, and just do nothing but personal projects for an extended period of time. Uh, we're making a game called Phaser. It's a two-dimensional magnet game. There was a lot of workshops and presentations and like keynotes that we could just basically sit in, open up our computers and learn completely new frameworks that I had no idea how to use before. I personally love working on teams. I think you get a lot more done. Um, I think it's pretty rare to see like a top 10 hack made by a single person because you, can't, you can just can't do as much. You could be the best programmer, but if you're, not, if you're not able to work with people, that's definitely a skill that you should try to develop when you're at a hackathon because it's a very important skill, it's a very important trait, especially in this kind of scenario. They're basically, we're using this um, hardware, it's called the Mile Armband. It's a little armband that attaches to your forearm. forearm. We're trying to make a program that um, reads the, your muscle data and from like a push-up or something. Once you get here, you realize that you actually can do something. It's not like impossible. I think it's a really cool experience to like actually work on something that's beneficial and potentially feasible to like, impact the future. It's about 27 hours now and I'm um, running a bit low on sleep, but that's okay. Yeah. We get pretty much just stuffed with different foods to give us ridiculous amounts of artificial energy. Um, so you get really tired and then kind of contemplate sleeping and then an hour or two later you're awake again. Hackathons are a really big part of the computer science community. I think it's really important that MSU uh, took a step into that world and that we join the, the big players.